And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off, um, we got a new quest. New quest, um, ah, it's probably under the Brotherhood of, yeah. Um, we got a new quest, let me to rescue the initiate from the hub. Um, And we also um, fail to get experience from observing this training. Uh, and we did some fetch quest for some person, so let us... Ah, we are not allowed into this room. Okay, let us just check out... Um, yeah. All the things that are... Here for us to explore. Um, let us talk to the guard. Hmm. We can't. We can enter this room, and they don't mind. Um, if we loot their lockers. Um, there's not much to loot here, as in nothing at all. But um, you might want to use these. Um, okay, is this Maxon? And that's Rombos. Okay. Um, if memory serves, then. Rhombus doesn't actually approve if you just enter his private rooms. Um, so that was Michael. Uh, that was Talos. So where's Maxon? Um, well, let's just. Maybe it is only if you sneak into his room, um, but I think he doesn't really... Ah. Who is there? Hello. Um, oh, I can't do that. May I help you? Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Um, oops, and I hit my microphone, sorry. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. Mm. Can you teach me something? Stuff. <laughs> I could teach you how to fight, if you had any ability. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits until the threat of invasion passes. Um. Hmm. Which threat? It is not my place to answer. See the High Elder if you wish. Okay, can I ask you a few more questions then? What do you want? Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Uh, tell me about I yourself. I said, I am Rhombus, head <laughs> of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. What do the Paladins do? The scribes copy the plans for the weapons and the knights make them. The Paladins protect the Brotherhood from harm. Uh, what kind of harm can there be? Many covet our technology. We have at least four attacks a week, from raiders to just people who want to steal what we have. Oh, uh, can you ask? Can I ask you a few more questions? <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I said, I am Rhombus, okay. head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. Can you teach me some stuff? Stuff. I could teach you how to fight. Uh, why if has you had any ability. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits until the threat of invasion passes. So why did he stop training? It takes too long. I spend my time improving those already trained. Hmm. Hmm. We could try to criticize his um, lifestyle, but I get the feeling that you won't approve if we do. Although I'm curious, so... Yes, that is all there needs to be. Hmm. Really? You do not understand what it is to be a paladin. Too bad. Hmm. You think I could become a paladin? Possibly. When the invading army is vanquished, come back to be trained. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Was there anything else? Yes. Um, 
Can you give me some history behind the Brotherhood? Dr. Vree in the main library. Okay. But you... Did you hear any good rumors? I do not put stock in rumors. Oh, come on, just one. No. Hmm. Okay. Um... What can you tell me about the surrounding area? The hub and the boneyard are south, mountains are east, and desolate wasteland north. Hmm. Whoever goes there never returns. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about mutants? I do not know of that. What can you tell me about paladins? Paladins. You do not understand what it is to be a paladin. That's why I'm asking. That. Okay, what do you know of... Um, Zex. I have no knowledge of such a thing. What do you know about FEV? I do not know of that. What do you know about the glow? I do not know of that. What do you know about the master? Ask Vri. She would know. Ah, okay. Should then ask Vri about the master? Okay. What do you know about Thomas? I have never heard of that. Okay. Um. What do you know about the Brotherhood? Hmm. And they didn't care to voice act that line. Uh, what you, do you know about Nuka Cola? I do not know of that. What do you know about bottle caps? I have no knowledge of such a thing. <laughs> what do you know about algebra? I do not know of that. <laughs> okay, um, what do you know about love? I have never heard of that. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Okay. I have no knowledge of such a thing. Hmm. Okay, fine. I won't pester you then anymore. Poor guy has never heard of love. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't be here, apparently, to these good folk. Um, maybe can we... Nah, they just... Some generic guards. They will probably just give you the same generic answer as every same generic guard. Um, hmm. There are some scribes. Um, I just talk to the instructor. I'm sorry, but I can't talk, talk, talk right now. I have a class to run. Let us observe the class taking place then. There is a computer console and a knight. Did you know that did you know man has been on the moon? Or oh, I think that's what they said. Can we mess with the computer console? No. Okay, um Knowledge is power. Did you know a black hole is actually an opening to another universe? Uh, no, I don't think that's the case. Um, the pen is mightier than the sword. Science is so much fun. Vries, my idol. I love those old books and magazines, but they are so hard to come by. Blah, blah, blah. Technology must, pre -pre must be preserved. Just the same... Answers, okay. Um... Hmm. Ah, uh, that's, I think it's a doctor where you can um, make a permanent improvement to one of your stats. Um, you see a kind looking woman in a doctor's uniform. Well, actually, she just wears the same dress that everyone, that every other scri scribe has, so... The description doesn't really match up with the graphics here. Uh, hello, how may I help you? Who are you? My name is Laurie. I lead the medical staff and administer all major surgeries and medical procedures. I'm effectively the only doctor here, thus I prefer to keep things on a first name basis. And you are? I'm Mr. Mann. It's a pleasure to meet you, brother Mr. Man. <laughs> now what can I do for you? Do you do operations? 
Of course. But it's very costly and time-consuming. Uh, details. Well, I can help you make you stronger, more perceptive, increase your endurance, help improve your learning process and increase your dexterity. Which would you like information on? Um, how about strength? That's easy to do, but there's a long recovery time. It only costs 2,000 script, but takes three weeks to heal. Uh, what about perception? Now that's a difficult operation. It costs 4,000 script, but the recovery from this operation is only a week. Endurance. Uh, this one's not that difficult. It takes about a week and will cost 3,000 script. Intelligence. Um, this is the most complex and dangerous. It'll take three weeks and cost 6,000 script. Uh, agility. This isn't that tough of an operation, but it's very costly and time consuming. It will take three weeks and cost 5,000 script. Okay, never mind. Uh, how much bottle caps do we have? Um, we have 6,400 something. Okay. Um, because one thing that I noticed is that, okay, we actually do have a, we have great agility, but, hmm. We actually could do with some more agility. Um, on the other hand, hmm. I guess I should think about this. Um, since we are playing as a um, um, melee slash, or rather, unarmed combat slash energy weapon based character, we really want those action points. Um, so agility w would be actually what we want, but we have only average perception, which doesn't make us that much of a sharpshooter. But then again, shouldn't really invest in things uh, at which you are not good anyway. So, okay, I will have to think about this. Um, so we can we can increase one of these stats permanently by one point, I think, or maybe even two points. Um, but we'll do that um, maybe later. Okay. Let us talk to Vri. I suppose she is... No, this is just some young initiate. Uh, let us talk to this initiate. Hi there. You must be brother Mr. Man, the new initiate from the outside. My name's Jerry. I'm your new roommate. I'm an initiate too. I've been studying so hard. Are you an initiate of the Knight or Scribe? Mm. I haven't yet decided. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide. It's so tough. They're both really exciting. By the way, if you want the top bunk, just let me know. I don't mind. Are you alright? Maybe you need to see the doctor or maybe you just need some sleep. Well, I gotta better get back to studying. Bye. Let us loot his locker. It's empty. Let us loot the other locker. It's empty. Let us loot his foot locker. Okay, I don't need this ammunition. Um, yeah. I really don't. Um, Good thing that he didn't mind that I opened his foot locker. Um, we definitely not want to get into a fight with the whole Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, this door is locked. So is this. And so is this. Okay. Uh, okay, there's not much that we can do on this floor, I, I suppose. Um, okay, um, yeah, I think here 
I think Reese in this room. So we should probably talk to her. Okay, they are already greeting us. Um, research is one of my favorite things to do. I feel like I'm trying to solve a mystery. You see, Vri. Um, Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I do think you can. Um, I know you're the head scribe, but what, 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 but what does that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Okay, interesting. That means you know stuff. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. Um, is my intelligence still decreased by the withdrawal effects? Why do I get such a dumb dialogue? What can I help you with? Um, I'd like to know know more about the weapons which you make here. Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Um, I think I shall do that. Okay, another question. Go ahead. I heard something about hollow discs. How can I read them? Uh, okay. I don't know why my character asked that because yeah, by that time I, I it, this is a bit, a little bit late by this time. I mean, use your Pip Boy two thousand to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Hmm. Ah, interesting. Where can I learn the computer skills? The Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Uh, okay. Ah. Ah, this increases the science skill. Oh. Uh, you are very fatigued, the vomiting doesn't stop and you are... <laughs> Recovery time is impaired. Um, um, wait, we are not. We aren't. We are not. We are no longer radiated. So I don't know why this. Why we are vomiting. Um, okay. Um, can we actually rest here? Can we rest at all? Let's rest until morning, okay? That should... Uh, okay, I guess you can only use this console once. <laughs> hmm. Okay, um, yeah, so now our character is actually quite good in, in, in science. Um, hmm. But we've read all the hollow disks that we could read, so there was actually not much point in doing it, that. Okay, anyway, let's what can I help you with? talk to her again. How can I, okay, I, yeah, again, this is... Okay, game, you don't need to tell me how I prevent radiation poisoning when in order to access this dialogue, I first had to get to the glow, which implies that I sort of know how to prevent radi radiation poisoning. You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Okay, Go thanks. Ahead. Uh, at least we have got some free drugs that we don't need by this point anymore. Okay, anyway. Uh, what's causing all the mutations? Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. Hmm. Why do you say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that could work. Um... 
Do we have any proof for that theory? Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Go Can ahead. I ask you something else. Um... Use your Pip Boy 2000 yeah. to read. What this... can I help you with? Uh, ah, we should ask her about the master, yeah. Who? Wade. That name sounds familiar. Perhaps he's a leader of some of the mutants. Uh, given the fact that his name is the master, that is quite likely. Okay. Please talk to one of the other scribes. I'm trying to finish up reports for the elders. Okay, okay. I won't bother you anymore. Well, actually, I will do. I will bother you some more. Um, what do you know about Rhombus? He enforces the elders' wishes, with force if necessary. What do you know about Michael? Please talk to one of the other scribes. Okay, I'm trying okay. to finish up reports for the elders. What do you know about the elders? Please talk to <sighs> one of the other scribes. I'm trying to finish up reports for the what elders. What you know about the globe? Please talk to one of the other scribes. I'm trying to finish up reports for the elders. What do you know about FEB? Please talk to one of the others. Okay, I got the message now. Use your pet Thanks, boy lady. 2000 to <laughs> I will talk to another scribe. Okay, they, the other scribes won't talk to me. Okay. Greetings. I have not seen you here before. Are you lost? May I be of service? If I was lost, I wouldn't be asking an idiot like you for help. I was sent here to ask Rhi about the history of the Brotherhood. Um, you didn't get far with that, did you? Rhi is too busy with her experiments to take care about history anymore. Uh, well then, who can I talk to about the history of the Brotherhood? My area of special specialty is the Brotherhood's history. It seems that some people around here have forgotten, forgotten the importance of our history. What could be more important than history? Vri seems to think that the research of the new weaponry and the information gathered from the mutant autopsies is more important than our history. She has forgotten that our history is a vital part of our lives. It has gotten so bad that many of the new initiates don't even know who Roger Maxson is or what exactly he did for us. Mm. I'd like to learn about the Brotherhood's history. Do you have any information you can give me? Well, it's good to see someone interested in our great history, unlike others around here. Here you go. This is a disc of some of our earliest writing. Thank you. And we got some discs that we can read. This is the disc containing Reese autopsy report. Uh, and we gained some experience points for that. Ah, okay. Um, so that's in art. Uh, no, it's in status. It doesn't make any sense, but. Yeah. Uh, we freeze autopsy report. Initial observations. This is truly amazing. Some of the knights on a patrolling expedition came across. An unusual creature. This creature appears to be humanoid and quite possibly was once of a human state. However, there are many differences in the structure of this creature than that of a normal human. In the initial investigation of this creature, it is discovered that it is discovered to have a cellular structure akin to that of humans. Before any possible decomposition can take place, I am taking down the statistics of this subject. Statistics of subject A. Height. What? 3.2 meters. Mass. 363.21 kilogram. Gender indeterminate. Skin color. Predominantly gray with tints of green under the current lighting system. Uncertain if this is due to decay or exposure in the wastelands. Note, the skin is extremely tough with respect to scalpels. Well, scalpels. 
mass breakdown, muscle mass 77%, bone mass 10%, fat mass 3%, tissue mass 9%. Cellular structure. Cells undergo cellular div division at an increased rate. Mitosis occurs at a rate 15% quicker than that of normal humans. Cellular structure appears to be highly similar to humans. Genetic structure shows a strong correlation between the subject and Homo sapiens. Possibly a mutation from the nuclear and biochemical agents remnants from the war. DNA strands appear to be very complete. All recessive genes for ailments appear to have been eradicated from the system. The RNA strands also appear to have been manipulated to allow for a greater transmission of signals. Initial hypothesis. Based on the increased size of the neural transmitters and synaptic receivers, I would hypothesize the subject had acute reflexes and heightened senses. Based on the reports the knights gave of the area in which the subject was discovered, barren, high radiation, extremely high concentrations of chemical agents, it is a wonder the subject survived as long as it did. Performing tests to determine possible cause of death. Results from tests conducted on, upon subject A. Visual, visual inspection. Black powder burns near the area suggest possible bullet. 1.2 cm lacerations upon the calf of the right leg appear to have been made by teeth. We'll conduct tests for possible rabbis. Skin dried out and flagging. Possible exposure. Test results. Radiation count 12 rats. Rabbi's test clean. Hydrochloric test gas clean. Chlorine level 0.07%. So fully content 0.02%. Phase shifting virus clean. Gamma cyclotronic virus clean. Forced evolutionary virus free. Uh, sorry. Forced Evolutionary Virus 2, Severe Overdose. Hypothesis. Based on my observations, I would hypothesize that the subject has been killed in a severe fight of at least two people and three animals the size of dogs. What is truly astonishing is the extent of viral infection in the subject. I had read once that some pre-war scientists were conducting experience, experience with such a virus but all of the research notes were destroyed. Research into the virus has led to many interesting discoveries. The test subject has gained many of its mutations from the overdose of the virus. This would account for the enhanced muscle and bone structure. Additionally, the recessive genes were, which are commonly found in humans have been manipulated in such a way as to bring the process by which this happens Sorry, in such a way as to bring about the best possible combination. While the process by which this subject this by which this happens is uncertain, it does have some severe side effects. Chief among them is sterility. The test subject subject would have been unable to reproduce with any creature, whether clean or mutated. Other side effects include an alteration of pigment of the ep epiderms epidermis. The life expectancy is increased by 10%. Intellect is, is decreased by this strain by 30%. Mm. Conclusions. Based on this information, I would extrapolate that we could simply outlive these mutants. However, based on the fact that these mutants have a super high concentration of the virus, it stands to reason that there could be some place which is creating them. As to where they could be, I cannot hazard a guess. Mm. Yeah, we've already read this. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, Let's loot this locker and then 
we shall end this episode and when we'll come back folks um We shall actually pick up the hollow disc that Sophia gave us. Um, well, actually, we shall do that right now. Because I don't trust this game. Ah, and then we shall read out Sophia's disc. So, until next time, folks, until then. <laughs>